what do we have here two statements which deal with two inequalities now you look carefully you can see that if you take x is equal to sin theta these two inequalities will be identical why because 1 by x which is 1 by sin theta is cosec theta so these two inequalities here are identical and what is this given here for why is it mentioned that your theta is an acute angle because here there is another condition this will be true only if your x is positive this will not be true for say x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to minus 1 this will not be true it comes with a condition that your x is positive that is why this inequality is given here why because in the first quadrant your sin and your cosec are always always positive If the same thing was happening here if your theta was between say 180 and 360 then you cannot apply this inequality why because in this region your sin theta and your cos theta uh, sorry your sin theta and your cosec theta will both be negative they will be less than or equal to 0 that is why this inequality is given here to show that it is safe If you take sin theta, your sin theta will always be greater than zero. You are familiar with this chart, right? This is the chart which gives where all the trigonometric functions are positive. In the first quadrant, for all angles from zero to ninety degrees, all the trigonometric functions are positive. From ninety to one eighty, only sin. If sin is positive, then its cosec is also positive. Its uh, in its uh, reciprocal is also positive. Here one. Only tan and cot are positive. In this last space, what is the last space? From 270 degrees all the way to 360 degrees. If you take any angle lying in this range, only its cos theta and what is the reciprocal of cos theta? The secant theta. Only those two trigonometric functions will be positive. Now uh, there are a lot of ways to remember this. Some people say add sugar to coffee and some say add salt to curry. However you want to remember, it is fine as long as you don't add sugar to curry and salt to coffee. We are fine. So just remember this chart. This is a chart which will give you what all trigonometric functions are positive in what all areas. So now let us start our question. So one look at it you can see that it is just common sense that this is has to be greater than or equal to 2 right suppose you take x to be something very very uh, big say 100 so 1 by 100 would be 0.01 so sim so just looking at it you can see that it is greater than or equal to 2 and even if you take something very small say 0.01 then its inverse will be 100 then again you will see that it is greater than or equal to 0 now saying something is common sense is the laziest excuse that anyone can give because when you are writing an exam you need to put down arguments mathematical arguments as to why this is true so what do you have here instead of this take the 2 to this side so all you have to take do is that if you take 2 to this side you have to prove that the whole thing is what greater than or equal to 0 we are just moving the 2 to this side and when we were studying algebra the algebraic identities did you remember we did a lot of questions like this a number and its reciprocal why is this why does this make our life easy our middle term will have no variables you will get a neat plus 2 or minus 2 so whenever you have a number and its reciprocal and a 2 this is the identity that you go to so square of which number will give you x square root of x if you square it you will get x similarly square this number you will get it here so what is this whole thing uh, look like a square minus 2 plus b square so what you are having is this so this is what we proved we proved that x plus 1 by x minus 2 is greater than 0 why is that we have expressed it as a square of a number squares are always always positive even if the number inside the bracket that is a negative number even if you have a negative number the square of a negative number will still be positive 
So whatever this number in the bracket is, if we have expressed it as a square, it will always be greater than 0. So what have we proved? This whole thing is greater than or equal to 0. Put back the 2 where you took it from. So we have proved our inequality. This is true. Now we move on to the statement in the assertion. What can we do? We can take x is equal to sine theta. Are we safe to do that? There is a condition to satisfy your x has to be greater than 0. Is that condition satisfied? Yes. Why? Because your theta lies in the first quadrant where both sine theta and cosec theta are both positive. If x is sine theta, 1 by x is cosec theta, add both of them. By the reason, by this statement, the statement given in the reason, we can prove that this is greater than or equal to 2. Now we move on to our next question. For any acute angle or in other words, for any angle which lies between 0 and 90, your secant value and your cosecant value will always, always be greater than 1. Why is that? What is your secant theta? Secant theta is always hypotenuse by adjacent side. And your hypotenuse is always greater. Or, you, or in other words, something like this. If your numerator is greater, your fraction will always be greater than or equal to 1. Now comes the question, why is the numerator greater? Why is the hypotenuse greater? Because when you take a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse is always, always the greatest side. Why? Because it lies opposite the greatest angle, which is 90 degrees. Now, the assertion is true. But this is not the reason. The reason is that your hypotenuse is the largest side in a right angle triangle. Now what about the second statement? Again it is correct. Why? Because your cosecant theta is hypotenuse by opposite side. Again you have a fraction whose numerator is greater and denominator is less. Which means what? It is an improper fraction or in other words, it will always, always be greater than 1. Again, what is the reason? Your hypotenuse is always the largest side. Now remember, this is for secant and cosecant. The whole thing turns upside down when it is sine or cos. What happens then? Now if the same question is asked for sine and cos for any acute angle, remember it will always be less than or equal to 1. You cannot have any angle whose sine is 2 or 3 or even 1.5. You cannot have such an angle because your sine theta and your cos theta will always be less than or equal to 1. Why is that? Because your numerator is less. You are having something which looks like this or in other words you are having a proper fraction which will always be less than or equal to 1. Why is that? Again your hypotenuse is the largest side. It is the greatest side in any right angle triangle. Remember the reason remains the same. The formula for sine theta is this and your hypotenuse is the largest side. That are the two reasons. That's all for today. Till I meet you again, you take care. Assalamu alaikum.